A spike in overdoses leaves six dead in Hennepin County just this week, and authorities are now issuing an alert. Now, we've seen this warning before, in fact, just last month in Minneapolis. And as Courtney Godfrey reports, drug addiction specialists say this is an ongoing emergency. 34 suspected non-fatal overdoses and six deaths in just the last week in Hennepin County is prompting law enforcement to issue a warning. But addiction experts say the so-called spike is nothing new. To authorities who are only now responding to this urgent need, it is challenging because that's not what they do. Just this past Tuesday, police were called to a house in Minneapolis where officers found two people in their 20s dead from a suspected overdose. Hennepin County issuing the alert two days later. What we're seeing now with all of these alerts is unsurprising and to some degree also significant underestimate. Dr. Demir Ertzen from Hazelden Betty Ford says the numbers reported by local law enforcement are likely an underestimate as non-fatal overdoses are only reported if the person goes to an emergency room. With access to much more sophisticated data collection mechanisms, they can confidently say this has been a trend for several years. After 2017, right up to the up to the pandemic, it, it has been increasing. The pandemic has again compounded that in substance use disorder across the board. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office using this opportunity to remind the public that help is available when an overdose occurs. The Sheriff's Office even offering free naloxone training classes where you can learn how to administer the drug that can reverse the effects of an overdose. The next one taking place December 6th. In the newsroom, Courtney Godfrey. Fox 9. Well, Minneapolis officially has a new police chief, and he has an enormous undertaking. Brian O'Hara will take over a police department that's been trying to rebuild since the murder of George Floyd. O'Hara will lead a department that just in April was found to have engaged in a pattern of racist discrimination. And the department is still under investigation by the Department of Justice. Right now, MPD is in the process of state and federal agreements that will force them to reshape policies and procedures. O'Hara says he's ready to create change. But I'm not here to maintain the status quo. Uh, and I think it's clear uh, from the vote this morning uh, that the governing body has issued me a mandate uh, to bring, a, bring forth change and to make it real for the people of this city and for the members of this police department. O'Hara's first day on the job is Monday.